Welcome, let's begin in goddess. So step your feet wide, turn your toes out and bend your knees to sink your hips down. Resting your hands on your thighs or your knees, start to rock side to side. Keeping the hips low. As you rock, you can start to lift one heel, come up onto your toes and then shift. And finding where center is, sink your hips down even lower, relax your shoulders, soften the muscles in your face, holding it here. Slowly straighten your legs, bring your feet parallel, then hinge from your hips as you fold forwards. Rest your hands wherever they fall. Deepen your breath. Lift your chest halfway and walk your hands to your right foot, fold over your right leg. Hold on to your ankle with your left hand and reach your right arm up as you twist open to the right. You can gaze up if it feels okay for your head. If not, gaze down. Untwist, walk your hands over to your left foot and fold over your left leg. Hold your ankle with your right hand and then reach your left arm up, twisting open to the left. Come back through center. Lift your chest halfway. Turn your right foot to the short end and bend your knee. Then windmill your arms come up to warrior two. Relax your shoulders, sink your hips down. And interlace your hands behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, draw your arms away. 
and then fold towards the inside of your right leg. As your head bows down, lift your hands up. And press through your feet for stability. Slowly lift yourself back up and you can straighten your front leg, turn the foot to the long end and fold forwards. Walk your hands through your feet. Bring the crown of the head towards the mat. Lift your chest halfway, turn the left foot to the short end, bend your knee. Come up into warrior two. Relax your shoulders, sink your hips down. Interlace your fingers behind your back, draw your hands away, squeeze your shoulders together. And then bow towards the inside of your left leg. Let your head go down as your arms lift up. Good. Come back up, straighten your front leg, bring your feet parallel, keeping your arms as they are, fold forwards here. Let your arms begin to lift up. Crown of the head goes down to the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. You can release your hands, bring them down to the mat for support. Then bend your right knee, start to lunge towards your right heel. Then bend your left leg as you straighten right, keep the hips low as you lunge to the left. Then slowly move through this side to side, spending a few moments on each side. Next time you lunge to the right, turn your feet to the right short end, lower your back knee down. Then edge your right foot to the right side of your mat, so both hands are on the inside of the foot. You can start to work deeper, slowly lowering the forearms down until you find your edge and then stay there. Come back up onto your hands and let your right knee fall out to the right side, flex the foot, turn your body to the right and sink the left side hip down. And from here you can reach your right arm back. A 
Good, turn to face forwards, pick up your back knee, open out the foot, sink your hips to the right heel for Skandasana. From here, flex your left foot so the toes point up. And gently press the back of your right arm against the inside of your right leg. So you're drawing that leg back behind you. Encouraging your chest to stay open. From here, slowly sit down, keep the legs as they are, bring your hands into prayer. And again, you're pressing your right arm against your right leg. So you're drawing that leg back behind you. <clears throat> okay, use your hands for support. Slowly lift your hips up as you rock forwards. Then shift into Skandasana on the other side. So bend in your left leg as you straighten your right. Then turn to face the left side, coming into your lizard. Again, coming down to find your edge, holding it there. Then coming up onto your hands, let your left knee draw out to the left side, flex your foot, and turn your body to the left, sink the right side hip down, reach your left arm back. Good, turn to face forwards, lift your back knee, open out the foot, sink your hips to the left heel for Skandasana. And flex your right foot so the toes point up. And slowly sit your hips down, keep the legs as they are, bring hands into prayer. And gently press your right arm, your left arm against your left leg. Okay, slowly sit your hips back up. And come back into a straddle position, fold forwards here. This time hold onto the backs of your ankles to draw yourself in deeper. Inhale, lift up halfway. This time walk your feet to the left, turn both feet to the short end, and then bend both knees for low lunge. Bring your left foot to the right side of your mat, and then lower the knee to the left as you edge your back leg down the mat, coming into pigeon pose. Instead of folding forwards, we're going to stay up in this seated position. Keep your front foot flexed. Keep rolling the right side hip down so you're squaring the hips. Uh, 
Good. Then turn to the right and hook your left elbow on the inside of your foot. And you can create a fist with your left hand and then cover your left hand with your right. And you can press your right hand into your left to keep turning the chest to the right, deepening the twist. You should also start to feel this deepens the stretch in the left side hip. Good, slowly release the twist. And come back up into your low lunge. Lift your back leg and then turn your feet, turn your legs to the other side of the mat. Then moving into pigeon on this side. So again, staying up in a seated position. Roll your left side hip down to square the hips. Keep your chest forwards. Okay, then turning your body to the left, hook your right elbow on the inside of your foot, make a fist with the hand, and then cover your right hand with your left. Start to press away from the floor, so pressing that elbow into your foot so you can continue turning left. And as you do this, you should start to feel a deeper stretch in the right side hip. Okay, slowly release. Now as you turn forwards, step back into plank pose, lower your knees into tabletop. From here, extend your left leg out to the side and you want the middle of your foot to be in line with your knee. Then you can start to edge your right knee out to the right side. Keep your right foot flexed. So you're coming into this extended half frog. You can start up on your hands. It will get quite intense very quickly. So breathe deeply. And then you can start to come down to your forearms. Let your head and neck relax. Slowly come back up onto your hands, 
Edge your right knee in closer and then come back into tabletop. One side is gonna feel very different now, so let's balance you out. Extend your right leg out to the right side, line the foot with the knee, then start to edge your left knee out to left side, keeping the foot flexed. Take the first few breaths up on your hands, give yourself a chance to ease in. And then you can come down to the forearms if and when you feel ready. Okay, come back up, back to your tabletop position and we'll move into full frog. So from tabletop, open both knees wide. You can just ease them out to the sides, little by little. Keep your feet flexed. You're looking to keep your hips in line with your knees. Again, spend the first few breaths up on your hands. So you're uh, bending your back a little bit. Think like cow pose. So there's an anterior pelvic tilt. The pelvis will rock forwards. And then if or when you feel ready, come down to your forearms into the full frog pose. Okay, very slowly ease yourself out back into your tabletop give yourself lots of time the hips will likely feel very stretched out so sit back and swing your legs forwards and bring the soles of your feet together open your knees wide and then scoot your hips right up close to the backs of your heels. And we're just gonna butterfly the legs so you can lift and lower the knees. Start slow and build it up so you go very quickly. Good, and then holding onto the outsides of the feet, let your knees lower as far as they can go. Start to draw yourself in towards your feet. Folding forwards, let your head and neck relax.
slowly sit back up, bring your knees together. And last few poses, open your legs wide into a straddle position. Keep your feet flexed so the muscles in your legs are still active. And we'll start with the fingertips in between your legs, keeping your chest lifted. Slightly tilt your pelvis forwards. And then you can gradually walk the hands forwards as you lower down, keeping the back nice and straight here. We're gonna work really progressively so there's no rush. Take it slow as you ease in. Remember to keep your breath deep. It will help you move into a deeper part of the pose. Slowly lift yourself back up. Take your time. The legs may feel a little sensitive. Then bend your knees. Bring your feet together about hips width. And you can place your hands behind you. Just knock your knees side to side. As the uh, internal rotation happens, <laughs> Your leg may feel a little sensitive because we're just counteracting that previous position. So don't worry if at first it feels like your legs are a little stuck. They will become unstuck in a second. Keep this going a few times side to side. We'll finish with a few twists. So as your legs go to the left, turn your body to the left. You can either stay up on your fingertips or come down to your forearms, folding over your left leg. Okay, then lifting back up. Bring your legs over to the right, twist to your right. And again, if you want to come down to your forearms, that's also an option. Come and sit back up. Find a comfortable seat. And that concludes the end of today's class. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was definitely a much slower, more restorative flow. So hopefully it's left you feeling rested and restored. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.